Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising monthly tarot reading July 2018. So this is going to be four position tarot spread and the first position shows up the topic for Aries for July 2018. Then the second position expresses up the challenges that the month has to offer to Aries. The third card that shows up the positivity which the month has in store for Aries and last position here that shows up the final outcome or it is known as the final outcome or in other words the result of all that. So as this is this is going to be an enhanced spread it means that we are going to use multiple cards per position or in our case these are going to be two cards. So the first card that falls up into topic for Aries this is going to be the page of wands with we have the justice. Alright, so uh, first of all, <clears throat> these two cards signify messages that Aries are going to uh, receive during that particular month. And because we do have the Justice card, that speaks for a, a very important messages like a notifications, a judge decisions, you know, a decision of the law, <clears throat> structure of the country, or in, um, in general, a, a very important notifications which are going to allow Aries to further their deeds into the future in case you are, um, you are waiting for, for such stuff. Just for example, let me, uh, let me give you like I said, a few examples, let's say that you have applied for mortgage and uh, July may be the month where you are going to receive a, a positive notification. This is going to be a positive notification that you have been approved to get the mortgage. But on the surface, <clears throat> These cards are pointing that you have worked very hard recently, you know, you have really toiled behind your uh, your aims and your agendas and uh, very just for the results of these efforts and these toils are, are now coming to bear. So in other words, uh, your work is finally giving the results you are expecting and therefore you Aries are now able to kind of like exert even a, a bigger meaning into your particular stuff. So just again, to give you a few examples, <clears throat> you have uh, worked very hard to establish a certain private business or a certain private project or been in a relationship for that matter. And finally, finally, until now you have faced a, a particular wall. There are there were a lot of difficulties along the way and you have worked, you know, to deal with all those kind of things and finally finally uh, right now the path starts getting clearer and clearer for you that being said you will have many new enterprises you will have many new activities to work upon which uh, actually have a, a certain benefits for you but um, 
on the on the other side of the interpretation these couple of cards also points that you can rely entirely upon yourself only and exclusively and not to somebody else so whatever you have to face to that particular amount of resources, it is uh, yours to face and you cannot expect that someone is going to help you deal with it even if they have you know even if they want to help you they will not be able to so the second position here expresses up the challenges that you need to face and that will be the two of wands with uh, the four of pentacles so that speaks of which kind of activities of these you have to invest fully so the challenges just go as far as that you will not have the time to invest in every single uh, in every single place that you want to or in every single opportunity that is given to you that being said these cards are pointing that you will have to throw yourself outside of your comfort zone and you have to juggle in between multiple things and as well uh, you Aries will have to take some sort of a defensive measures so you don't lose what have been achieved thus far all right so it will be as i said a, a quite of a, a busy month these couple of cards also point that you may uh, have a certain aggression uh, dwelling within yourself because as i said you will want to maximize everything that is going on around you you know you will want to be flawless into your relationship, you will want to be flawless into your, uh, into your career, but uh, a person can achieve just so much because you cannot scatter yourself in every single place in this world. So it's kind of like that's the challenge here to decide in which exactly field you want to invest the maximum of yourself and which of those fields you will just allow to flow with the current and whatever has to happen it will happen also challenges could be as well material investments here all right and in case we are talking about a, a private business there will be so many places you can invest in but you will not have the entire resources to invest in every single place so you need to decide in which place you want to place your investments and then we do have the positivity which the month has to offer that is going to be the hermit with the five of pentacles so the hermit and the five of pentacles it is a, a very strong combination for one being able uh, with a a slight of movement to avoid disappointment and to avoid poignant experience losses all right so uh, you will be very aware during this particular month you know what could be beneficial and what could turn out a, a failure so in other words the positivity here is that you will have the acute sense to scale very accurately the risks that you are taking based on those activities here and thus far you will be able to invest as I said either time or money into the correct place well but the problem again is, is that there will be many correct places but on the flip side here on the positive side is that you will be very accurate with determine which place it is a uh, imminent failure and uh, that being said you will not make those kind of a uh, um, investments where you will definitely going to lose either you will waste your time or either you're gonna lose your money these couple of cards are exp are expressing that you will invest or kind of like you will throw yourself into iron and activities that require a lot of from your experience which means that you have already been in that particular spot in a similar situation but in the past and right now you know exactly how the things are working and what needs to be done done and that being said there will be nothing there to surprise you Aries. so uh, the bottom line here is is that whatever you are um, choose whatever you choose to uh, push forward or to advance with uh, further into your future you have to embark it with great confidence that you have already know what needs to be done and as well with um, with a severe how can I place it with a severe experience or you should draw from your severe experience from the past so uh, what can I advise you here looking at these cards that you have to be very aware what the soil is be beneath the activity you want to invest yourself in alright and if you are not very aware um, 
just take a couple of days even a week during the month you know to reconnoiter your environment just so you can understand where the risks are and how you can tackle with those risks uh, <clears throat> these couple of cards as well uh, just to say is that whatever you're tackling with you need to uh, um, you need to attend to it with great intelligence and with wisdom so you need to place your uh, your knowledge into the picture as well and the result of all that is going to be uh, the nine of wands with uh, the high priestess so for what it seems these are going to be a, a very uh, kind of like very substantial changes but these changes are going to be only regarding your personal life so it's not going to be there are not going to be changes of uh, your fate if I may say that way so just to give you an example here um, you may change the way your routine is but these changes will not concern uh, the dramatic flip sides of your relationships or, or of your career. These changes are only, uh, are only meant to make your uh, daily routine and in general your, um, the enterprises that you are involving yourself in much more pleasant and much more comfortable. So taking on those kind of opportunities here or kind of like those activities, you are uh, with a, a very subtle approach you will be able to just choose those which are going to contribute for your routine all right and which are going to give you uh, to bring you more material resources more comfort etc etc on your behalf and um, you will be able to very accurately incorporate them into your daily routine. So if you are thinking of starting up a, pro a private project of, so uh, of some sort, that will be an ideal, uh, ideal month for you to, uh, to just uh, incorporate that kind of a project into your already ongoing you know, tasks that you are taking on, etc, etc. Or that could be, as a matter of fact, a friendship or a relationship either. And the High Priest is here next to the um, Nine of Wands is telling us two things. First, that it's gonna go for a long run, which means that it will be a very long lasting into the future, whatever you attract into your daily routine during July. And as well is that it will be a, a very accurate accurately taken decision here uh, because these couple of cards are saying that whatever changes you do are only going to make your life much more peaceful that being said Aries is this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye